Hi everybody, so I am back again with some more Traveler's Notebooks in my shop. These are micro size, but before I show you that, I wanted to show you quickly a tiny haul I did at Walmart, in case you're interested. Um, look what I found. So these are $3.88 at Walmart, and they're hair clips. They are found in the children's apparel area over on the kids' Uh, the girls side there's actually a little like a wire stand with all kinds of little hair accessories and little bags and stuff like that and that's where I found this I just happened to walk through there because I was trying to go through the store real quick and this caught my eye this whole stand and there was so many more things up there that I really wanted to get but it, it 388 will add up you know fast but it's still a good deal for what you get now they are hair clips um, I haven't pulled them off yet, but usually things will come off easily for me. These are taped here, so I'm not going to take it off. Um, I do sometimes use my little heat tool and just soften up the glue to get it to come apart so that I can use the bows and everything as um, embellishments. Um, I did grab two of each because, you know, I always say that I do duplicates. And I know we can make these, and if you have your dies, you know, go ahead and do so. I got rid of my die machine. You know, I don't no longer... Um, use that I do use my silhouette cameo but for paper I just don't use it on these materials anymore um, so having these already made is great I normally make my bows differently just like a quick let me pull one out um, it's just like one piece that I just pinch and then turn into a bow so when I find them like this yeah so these here are actually shakers and it's glitter on the back like the materials like this but the glitter type with a clear uh, plastic there's some glue on it and they just put some of that mixture stuff in there and these are so cool so again yeah I'm just gonna put a little bit of heat not too long and just take them apart and use these and turn them into paper clips but these are so cute so and you absolutely can make this yourself this is stitched of course i can't make these turns on a sewing machine so you know i would rather just buy them like this so now when i go to walmart i'm going to check that section and see what else i can get each time and just another look at this one here so i just wanted to show you that these were at walmart again the clothing the children's clothing apparel on the girls side on a little rack with a whole bunch of other stuff there's a lot of cute stuff for the kids, man. I just want to be a little girl again. I am, at heart. So, um, I made a couple more micro planners that are in the shop now. The link will be down below to that. And I'm excited the way these came out. So, I did use this pad here that I've had for a little while. I also have the bigger pads and some kits to go with this. So, I've always loved this, still do. And I wanted to use it again. Um... And the last set of micros I made was the, like, sort of transparent ones. But I wanted to use this material here. So, this is from Hobby Lobby. And it is 4.5 by 6.5. And, and it's perfect for the inserts in here. So, I did use that. And I made these. And these are exactly the same. Everything in here is the same. And this material here, I have links down below to Amazon. Um, where I find this you get a set you only get one of each so making the micros is like perfect because you can get two out of one sheet um, and it's a it's glitter but it's like soft so it doesn't come off it's like a it's got a coating on it I did stitch it and each time I get better and better at my stitch at my stitching so thank you P um, she's whimsical endeavors on YouTube I'll link her down below. I don't think I linked her last time, or maybe I did. I can't remember, but I will link her down below. I think she has at least one sewing tutorial. And maybe I thought she said she might be doing another one. If you're watching P, a lot of people are asking me about the sewing thing, and I do not, um, I will not do any kind of tutorial sewing because I'm still learning myself. So if you happen to do one or if you know if you haven't yet and you do one, I'm going to, you know, send everybody to you because she really helped me out. It's a lot of different things that you have to do to get the right stitching. So it's not just one thing. It ain't just the thread or just the needle. It's like a whole bunch of different things for each kind of material. So that's why it's 
difficult for me at least if you haven't been sewing as much as other people and yeah I've sewed but like straight line that's it or by hand straight line that's it you know I never really ventured out into other things and using materials and you know layers of stuff different materials it's it's a lot of a lot going on so I'm gonna put her channel link down below so you can check her out and hopefully she's watching and she'll do a tutorial on how to sew on this type of material um, or this type of material you know it's all different too but I for me I did use the uh, walking foot and a needle that is meant for jeans and what was the other thing the thread that I was using because of my sewing machine she says it's very picky I have a brother and I don't know the name of it some kind of sounds like a German name I don't know but and then I messed around with all the settings you know according to what she was explaining to me and I finally got a good setting for those two types of materials so far so yeah so just you know check her out down below and hopefully she'll do a tutorial on that but look at how cute these are so yeah they're so lightweight one of the things about these planners that I make they are lightweight you know compared to if you buy leather kinds you know from those online shops I'm sure they would be a little bit heavier I use um, felt as my lining I I use different things as lining but lately I've liked the felt because of that like squishy feeling I love how that feels and um, I always use different types of materials on the outside. Sometimes I just use the clear PVC stuff, which is really cute too because you could see the inside. So then you want to make your inside really cute. But when I do them this way, I definitely put my pockets in there and I use different materials for that. So pretty much everything on here I made myself. I did make this dangle here, which is on a lobster class. It's a couple pieces that I had in my, in my stash. So, and they, they, like I said, they are exactly the same. And I used gold findings this time. I used this color um, elastic that I had also. It went perfect with this. I'm going to leave this here so you can see how the colors just go great. Um, my stitching again. I'm loving how it's coming out. So let's open it up and see how thick it is. I did fill this. All right, so you, oh, look at how cute that is. So... You see the rose gold, which I showed you earlier on my planner. I used it as pockets. So I think it goes pretty well, the two. Let me just kind of put them together like that. I thought it went pretty well. It took me a while to figure out what to use for the inside aside from using the same material because I didn't have enough to make pockets. And I think, let's see here. Somewhere I have my template. Okay, so let's just step back for a second. In case you want to make this, I have tutorials on how to make covers, so you can always go back to that, but just adjust your, you know, sizing. Um, but this here, I've been making templates, which has been working out great, especially for my holes. That way I can just keep going back to this to make my holes. I just mark everything. But this uh, measures 7 and 7 eighths this way by 4 and 3 quarters this way. My pockets are 2 inches each. I use a bow. This is not exact because you want extra to tie a knot for the inserts for four inserts, 22 inch um, elastic. And then for my strap, I use about, um, I was a little too short here. Nine and a half was on my last one because the elastic was loose. You know, this, it's not too tight. This one is tighter, so about 10 to 11. So the most you're going to need is at least 11 inches of elastic. And it does depend on the tautness of this. This is really, really tight. The other one's loose. Um, and then the inserts for these, the micro, or I think they also call it nano, is three by four. So three this way by four. And that's it. So those are the measurements for this particular cover. And like I said, you can get two out of one of these sheets that they sell um, online. I'm going to pull this out because it's always sliding. So I did make a little page marker using the paper. I did have to use two papers because it's not uh, double sided. I have another. I'm going to have to restock on pens. I'm going to look online though this time because I don't have too many of the little um, gel pens. 
that are ready to use. I had a whole bunch before, but all the colors that I don't use, so. And again, I used that punch that I showed in my last. It's a scallop oval. I, I love the, the little designs on here. They're tiny, so you can use them for stuff like that. And then your sticker, I mean your washi sample cards. I actually have coordinating tape. Don't remember if these actually went, if it's from Hobby Lobby or somewhere else, but it does coordinate, so. And then I just put a, a heart sticker there, a gem sticker. And, okay, that's it for that. <clears throat> I did put some cards in here this time. I pulled them out of my stash. And just for looks, because they won't really fit in here. You can cut these down, though, if you want to put them in. Um, but mostly for looks. And I love this butterfly, so... And there is an arrow paper clip and on the back side you are getting an extra actually I only use I haven't used it at all it's not extra you're getting one loose pocket credit card pocket in here so you could put it anywhere you like last time I had already put it in the cover and then here's the shaker and I put one of those puffy stickers from Target right up here and I had made a really cute shaker and the other side of the shaker is the pocket with this paper in it and it's loose in there so you can pull that out so here's the first insert cover again these are all removable um, they're all pockets and then in here I have these these are washi flakes they're actually stickers and I think it's smaller than this outside here um, but I actually had these. These came from Joann's, so you're getting those. They match perfectly. And I'm just going to get thrown in here. And then an uh, undated month calendar that I sized down. A pom-pom clip I made. Over here are the cutouts. So you do get little cutouts in this pad, which is perfect. Um, so a cute little teepee. Follow your dreams. Love the world. Let's be adventurers, darling. The uh, dream catcher, and I think that just spells wild this way, if I'm not mistaken. So you got that. <clears throat> I gotta hurry because I gotta start cooking. <laughs> I was supposed to start cooking three minutes ago. So the next insert is the undated weekly and you're going to get these sticky notes here. There's a clip with a flower dangle on the bottom. Just a really cute like fabric kind of flower dangle. And then I just showed you this earlier. I did use E6000 to hold this little strap here. The clip is actually loose in there but it's so tight in there that I couldn't get you know glue in there like like the tip or whatever so it should be good it should stay there since I use E6000 okay so then the next oh I made a different kind of folder pocket kind of thing <laughs> um, I had seen somewhere on YouTube one of the planner people that I follow they were making like a credit card holder but it was going in this way and it looked pretty easy enough but then I thought you know what let me just do something like this instead and you could use it for whatever you like but if you want to put credit cards you can here is my business card so you can see it's a little taut or tight um, but there's two slots and in these I put in your stickers that you're gonna get it's just um, they're actually little frames so within each they're all separate there's one um, the frame itself like a Polaroid and then one in the middle plus you know whatever this is if you're gonna use the whole thing you can um, but each one has at least two I think this one has three shapes in here but anyway you get this this and this and I just wanted to tuck them in so you can see that there's two pockets on each side and this is on its own elastic A little trickier to get that one in there this one here is on its own elastic and it's just laminated paper 
Um, I used the laminate was a little too thick. I had a four by six laminate uh, sleeve. I think they're a little too thick for this thing, but it was already done. The last booklet is the lined booklet. This time it's only going to be three booklets. Um, and I did redo the lined paper. It's a little bit more further apart, but I had issues getting it to not the print part. I think when I designed it, I did it wrong on the second part. And when you do the back side, it didn't print it right because the line is a little too far off on one side. Like this side, it's fine. But this line here where you would cut was too far off. So just so you know, both of them will be that way. But at least the lines are a lot better. So I'm going to keep working on that so that I can make a little bundle. Um, so if you want to buy refills for this, you know, printable ones, then I'll have that. All right, so that's pretty much it. And it's like a cream color inside. And like I said, it's felt, but it's a thick felt. And it's nice and soft. It makes it nice and cushy. And it's all stitched. It's adhered first and then stitched. But I am loving, oops, I forgot. Loving the way this came out. And again, you don't have to leave this in here if you don't, because sometimes, you know, it just wants to slide right out. You can always take it out and just reclip the pen in another section there. But there it is. So, so cute. So small. Toss it in your purse. It's lightweight. Um, yeah. So thank you all for watching, and the link is down below, and I'll put um, P's channel down below too, and yeah, thank you again, I'll see you guys next time, bye now.